India, rightly so in an agricultural powerhouse. Holding on to the fifth position in the world's top economies in 2023 GDP ranking. The majority of the country's population depends on agriculture for their livelihood. The agricultural sector is a central pillar of the Indian economy, employing 60% of the nation's workforce and contributing to about 17% of its GDP. to the demand for the exclusively agricultural university in the state, the far, especially farming community of the Kalyan Karnataka regions, a uh, separate agricultural university has been established during the year 2009 and eventually this university became one of the leading agriculture research institute in the country. The main mission of this university is to generate a quality human resources and competitive cutting-edge technologies disseminating very effective manner to the farming community. The northeastern parts of Karnataka, that is Kalyana Karnataka, it covers seven districts of Karnataka and most importantly, it is bestowed with three irrigation projects as well as it covers around 33% of the geographical area and the irrigated area is around 12 lakh hectares and our university has established around 12 research stations under our jurisdiction right from Bidar to Balari. So most importantly, the diversified climate, soil and rainfall across the three zones uh, provides the researchers working in our university with variety of crops as well as high value crops and the region comprises of pulse bowl as well as rice bowl so and the farmers of this particular region in the enlightenment of getting more and more yield they are using indiscriminately the fertilizer use this causes concern for our environment and the pollution is also coming up here in this particular region. Hence, the university as well as the state government felt the need of establishment of pesticide residue and food quality analysis laboratory in this particular university. So we are proud to say that it is also NABL accredited laboratory and one of the best five uh, laboratories in our country as well. The farmers of this region are also resorted for indiscriminate use of pesticide, which not only has led to the environmental pollution, but also posing a greater risk to the consumer. Hence, the university has felt a very strong need in establishing a residue laboratory, which can monitor the various chemical and the biological contamination in agricultural produce, water, fruits and vegetable and monitoring the pesticide formulations which are available in the local market is also of prime importance. Hence, the state-of-the-art pesticide residue and food quality analysis laboratory was established during the year 2016 under the various fundings such as Rastriya Krishi Vikas Yojana, Ministry of Food and Processing Units and the, the Kalyan Karnataka Regional Developmental Board the DBT, VGST, and various other ad hoc projects. So under the umbrella of the PRFQL, two more laboratories, such as the Food Microbiology Laboratory during the year 2019, and the Pesticide Formulation Testing Laboratory during the year 2020-21 are also formed. The main objectives of these laboratories are to monitor the pesticide residues, the heavy metals, the microbial contamination in the food and agriculture commodities and the food proximates and honey quality which caters the needs of the various stakeholders like farmers, the scientists, students, the manufacturers and the food packagers and as well as the exporters. See, in establishing this uh, pesticide residue and food quality analysis laboratory at US Raichur, there is a huge support received from uh, Ministry of Food Processing Industries, Government of India, New Delhi, 
Under that funding, we could um, uh, install LCMSMS, ICPMS, GCMS, FTIR, and other uh, instruments and equipments required for testing of these uh, proximate composition of the food samples and the mineral composition as well as the pesticide residue content. Pesticide residue analysis wing is one of the important sections in our PRFQL laboratory. So this wing is basically funded or operated under two important national projects. So one project is an ICR funded All India Network project for the persistence and dissipation of various pesticides so in the various agro ecosystems and another important project is the department of agriculture and farmer welfare funded so monitoring the pesticide residue at the national level under AINP project we mainly do the persistence and dissipation studies so in various uh, agriculture cropping ecosystems for the registrations of the newer insecticides and whereas under an MPRNL program or the monitoring of pesticide residue at national level program, so where we look at the pesticide residue in the, uh, the market and as well as the farm gate collected the cereals and pulses, fruits and vegetables and the water and extract the data of the pesticide residue. This section is basically equipped with an NABL standard infrastructures such as the sampling storage units with a very wide so walk-in refrigerators and diffusers and sample preparation units and also the sample extraction unit. lab I am dealing with the four sections uh, for the technical concepts like as food quality analysis that is proximate composition then heavy metal analysis then apart from that honey quality analysis and also I am dealing with the microbial load analysis in the food and water sample. So when we are talking about the contaminants apart from pesticide residue nowadays a heavy metal accumulation in the food commodity is the burning issue. So in our lab, we have ICPMS, inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometer obtained from Perkin Elmer. It's a make use spec Perkin Elmer and the model is Nexion 350X. This is a very sensitive equipment, especially for the detection of heavy metals as well as uh, micronutrients. In our laboratory, we have developed and validated in a single method, uh, more than 14 heavy metals can be detected. I'm dealing the section of nutrient analysis, food quality analysis, especially the proximate composition. Uh, when we, whenever we are talking about the food samples, the major nutrient present in the food is protein, carbohydrate, fat, fiber, moisture, ash. So here we are having a different set of instruments for the analysis of approximate composition. Generally for the protein estimation here we are using uh, gel dal apparatus and for fat estimation we are using succulent apparatus and even for crude fiber estimation here we are using a fiber bag estimation unit. So different instruments we are having for approximate composition analysis. Ours is a water-stressed country. Though we have water resources from groundwater, river water and lake water, but still the quality of the water remains polluted and it has to be tested according to the international and national standards. And we have developed 14 parameters according to the Bureau of Indian Standards and we have also obtained enable accreditation over the last few years, we have seen a reduction in the export of agriculture products such as red chili as well as the groundnut to developed countries from India. The reason being they are getting contaminated with aflatoxins, which are the mycotoxins uh, released by the asparagus flavors. So our laboratory, that is Pesticide Residue Laboratory in US Raichu, we have been able to develop an in-house method wherein we are detecting and quantifying the four isomers of aflatoxins by UHPLC method as seen here. By utilizing the amount sanctioned from Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana and K 
KKRDB, we have established this food microbial testing laboratory where we can focus on especially the food enumeration concept. The objective of the laboratory here is we are testing the food sample for the enumeration of microbial load even in food and water sample. There are several microorganisms which can cause this illness when we consume such contaminated foods. For that purpose, it is very much essential to enumerate the microbial load present in food as well as water sample. So this laboratory can be utilized to analyze the quality of water with respect to microbial load, especially E. coli test, coliform test, all those tests can be done in our laboratory. Apart from that, the midday meals, the samples which are generally supplied in the schools, it has to be tested for the presence of Ichertia coli and Salmonella. Such tests also can be done here. We are having highly advanced instrument with the clean room facilities available in Rome. Okay, this pesticide formulation testing laboratory established in the year 2020 under the University of Agriculture Sciences, Raichur. This laboratory plays an important role in monitoring the quality of the pesticides being sold in the market by the different companies. Okay, there are several companies which are manufacturing and they are selling their uh, pesticides in the market and uh, to assess the quality of the, these insecticides, this laboratory has been established. This is the, the first kind of uh, laboratory established under the public uh, service institutes uh, that is the uh, University of Agriculture Sciences in the southern India itself. The major uh, objective of uh, this laboratory is to provide the pesticide quality analysis to the Department of Agriculture people, those who are involved in uh, the inspection of the, the insecticides and they are sending those molecules for the inspection here. And second one is to provide the, the quality analysis of the pesticides for the insecticide manufacturers or the pesticide manufacturers. And third objective of this laboratory, we have another wing in here, that is the characterization, synthesis, and the analysis of the insect pheromones. That is another important, uh, the pest management aspect, which is being carried out in this laboratory. Okay, these are the main objectives. And the important equipment available in this laboratory are the gas chromatography, that is the GCFID, gas chromatography flame ionization detector and another one is the the HPLC that is the high performance liquid chromography and another one is the we have the the UV spectrophotometer that is used for the analysis of the VD sites in this equipment other than this as I said the the pheromone synthesis and the characterization for that we have another uh, GCECD and uh, olfactometer and the wind tunnel okay, these equipments are being used for the the characterization and synthesis of the pheromones The state-of-the-art pesticide residue and food quality analysis laboratory, food microbial laboratory and the pesticide formulation testing laboratories which are established under the University of Agriculture Sciences Raichu are catering to the needs of the farmers, industrialists, students, scientists and various other stakeholders. It is our privilege to serve these stakeholders for the benefit of the society, state and the country. Thank you.